Hey guys, welcome to the second episode. In this episode, I'm traveling to Wales with my second most favorite person, Aksh Tiagi, my son. I'm your first favorite person. You know who's my first favorite, that's me. You can't choose your own self, you have to choose someone else. All right, my first favorite person, Aksh. Is that better? Yeah. All right, we are starting with North Wales. We will be traveling there and staying there for three nights. We've got quite a few things on our hands over there. We'll start with hiking in Snowdon. Then there's an attraction called Zip World, which has the fastest zip line in the world. We'll try that. They have another attraction called Forest Coaster, which is uh, basically a two-seater coaster that goes through the forest. Uh, and after that, we would also try some uh, traditional Indian cooking, tandoori chicken. Once we've done that, we will travel down south to... Near Swansea? Swansea, that's Swansea. correct. And in this episode, we would be experiencing Lamborghini. Hurricane. Evo. Spider. That's correct. Lamborghini, Hurricane, Evo, Spider. We are renting it for two days um, and we are going to be driving it at a beautiful location. This is important because we feel that if you're driving a nice super car, you shouldn't be driving it in the city, right? Yeah. It doesn't do justice. Yeah. We, that's why we are taking it to a pass called Black Mountain Pass in South Wales. It's one of the top ranked driving roads in the UK. I think Top Gear also did an episode there. And we would be experiencing the car over there, getting some, you know, uh, really beautiful shots. Mm -hmm. And then uh, from there, we will drive back to our home in Watford and yeah. end the trip. Thank you. Hey guys, as you can see behind me, we are at our beautiful destination. For the first night, we'll be making barbecue chicken. Uh, I will be working with Aksh to do the marination. We'll leave the marination for half an hour and then we'll fire up the barbecue. Aksh, let's go. All right, Aksh, I think you can switch off the TV now. Uh, let's do some marination for tonight. Okay, quick background guys. He has never done marination before. This is the first time he'll be doing it. Looking forward. No. Yes, that's a yes. You can grab that. You want to do chicken or you want to do potatoes? Potatoes. Just, you should get your hands ready. <laughs> no? Okay, fine. Next time you do this. Right. <clears throat> I did just explain to you what marination is, right? Yeah. So basically what we're going to do is two spoons of curd and then we'll start adding spices, yeah? Now this one we'll use for the, okay, let's use this for curd, that one is for spices. Take two, in there. That's big. That's good. And another. <laughs> right. That big, a big splat. Nicely done. Now do you know which spices we are putting in? Which five? We're putting in salt, red chili, masala, yeah. green leaves. And then this? Yes. Yes, salt we'll put later. So whatever I put, you put half of it, okay? Make sense? Yeah. Make sure you don't... Oh! It's okay. It happens. Yeah. And then... All right. There you go. Smaller this time. What is it? That's all. Okay? We need salt to put. Yeah, so once we put salt, you have to get your hands dirty. One. Hee <laughs> hee I'm doing it until you do it. Alright, shall we do it? Yeah. Slowly, okay? Don't rush it. Yeah, keep shaking. You will feel that all of the spices, along with the curd, <laughs> it's all start getting it's based yummy. on the potatoes. It looks yummy. It's because of the red chili, right? Mm. Shall I jump in? Yeah. Yeah? I think that's done. Hey. Now what do we do? Wash our hands. 
Yes, wash our hands is a good idea. And what else should we do? I don't know. We wait for like half an hour at least, yeah? Cool. Do you see the fire? Yeah. Let's just keep one for now, okay? Right, get the potatoes. Leave the other one next to it. Okay. Mm. Basket? Pick. Yeah, no, no, that thing to pick. Do you see it? Yeah. Degree Celsius. 30, 40, 50. Yeah, Dad, but the chicken on this side won't get the heat. No, as much as the on one on the left, but we'll see. We'll test it. Let's on switch this one on. Okay. That's more fire. Let's do like that. Now we got both sides on. So I'm gonna put the chicken in here. Right? Now you can marinate the meatballs. Just watch out your t-shirt, yeah? <laughs> So, what is this thing that, do you want to say anything to grand, your grandfather and grand grandmother, Dadu and Dadi? No. <laughs> Any sorry or anything? No. No? No. Okay, cool. Dad. Dad. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Are oh, you got them? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can put it there. Just watch your hand. That's it. That's good. If you just play for some time, you'll get better. I've played it before. <laughs> They're a little bit burnt though. I think they're burnt. Mm. Hmm? <laughs> Food was okay. Definitely not as good as what Mohan cooked in Scotland. I actually love the location. The link to that is in the description of the video. I actually loved it so much. Uh, he kept running into the farm. I had to push him to get some sleep after the long drive so that we are relaxed for the next day. Sometimes wish I should have a place like this. I guess we all do. Hey guys, we are at the zip wall now. Uh, this is where they have the fastest zip line. As you can see, this, we thought this is the one which is the process and it goes over the lake uh, but then we figured out later it's not actually this one it's that one that little building on the top that's, that's pretty high and you can see the zip line from there yes and I think that that's, really that explains high. why it gets to 100 miles per hour that's why it's that fast because it starts from that height 
uh, we checked with the uh, reception. They said uh, height wise, Aksh is okay. But they checked the, the suit, and I, from the frame perspective, they found him a little bit smaller. And there's a risk of him slipping out. So they did not allow Aksh to go on that zip line. So I think we will come back here again uh, in one or two years' time. Aksh will be gymming a lot. He will be putting a lot of weight, making the frame bigger. Yeah? And then we will do it. Yeah? Is that? What happens? Uh, let's go. Got it. Right, so after our rejection at the Zip World for Velocity 2, we are heading back towards our stay. And then we'll get ready to go to the other Zip World, which is in Forest, for the rides that we are allowed to go. Right, Dux? Now we will get back to our stay, we'll get rest fresh and then we'll go for the forest coaster. How did I show you? I'm not gonna try. I'm it? just gonna do under arm. Aksh was a bit sad due to this morning's rejection at the zip line and uh, velocity to ride. But after the forest coaster, he was happy. Next item on the list is Snowden Mountain tomorrow. Really looking forward to it. Hey guys, we are out for our hiking today. Uh, we are almost on the top of the Snowden Mountain. Uh, we've come up here using the Snowden Mountain Rail, uh, which is a very unique kind of uh, rail which has kind of a clause in it. Uh, our plan is that we'll spend some time here. Uh, once we are done uh, here, we will hike back down. Roughly it's around three, three and a half hours of hike. Uh, in the meantime, we'll just roam around here, me and Aksh. We'll try to get some really nice, beautiful shots. Yeah? Um, I don't know. No? How do you find the ride? Nice. Nice? Do you want to hike back down or do you want to take the train down? Take the train. I think we should hike back down. No train. Okay, we'll have a word with and then we'll decide, yeah? Yeah, right, but you told me to decide. Too. Yeah. One piece of information for everyone here. In the year 2022, this train is, doesn't, go, doesn't go all the way up to the peak. It stops 75% on the way. The station is called Clogwin. The views from here are quite beautiful as well. Very scenic, uh, but uh, this year uh, you can't take the train all the way up. You have to hike up from here. Now that finally I'm here, I'm actually surprised. I've heard about Snowdonia quite a lot of times from my friends, and I'm a fan of uh, you know mountainous places. But this place is also like pretty special. Like it's it's a different kind of a landscape. I think I'll be coming here again. Right, so we're finishing here. Uh, we will be taking the path down uh, from here, which is the Lansbury's path. Roughly three hours is what I'm expecting this to take. If you see on the left, you can see there's a lot of people on this path. Usually this path is crowded because this is the easiest one. Aksha, are you ready for this? Um, I really don't know. Let's attempt it, right? We might, we might be able to finish it in three hours. Aksha wasn't too keen on two, three hours hike back. And since we had come up on one-way tickets, we need to check with the train guys if they had any spare tickets going back. We were lucky. With the help of the train, 
we came back to our state pretty quickly. Now Alf was full of energy due to all the sugary drinks and chocolates he had in anticipation of the hike. So I had to tire him out. This is our last night in North Wales. We've done our packing, right? Yes. We're all set to go. Uh, before we sleep, we decided to play a game between me and Aksh. I'll explain what the game is, right? So we have these cards in the place where we are staying. The game is called Picture This. Basically, it's just a card you hold in front of the other person and they have to guess what this is, right? So looking at this, for example, I might say this, these are wooden logs. Now, if I get it wrong, I lose a point. This thing is actually spaghetti, right? Okay. Zoom in, so I lost. So what we're gonna do is, we'll make this a little bit more interesting. Uh, whoever loses, it, loses will do push-ups, right? So we'll continue to play this game, right? And if we lose, we'll do push-ups, right? The person who is not able to do any more push-ups loses. Sounds good? Mm. Now, of course, you are eight years old, right? Mm. So you're not expected to do push-ups as much as me. So what we are doing is, um, your weight is how much? Around 23 kilos? Mm, 24. And I'm 72 kilos, right? Yeah. So I'm three times your weight, okay? Yeah. So for every push-up that you do, I will do three, three push-ups, yeah? Three times the push-ups, right? So, and what we are agreeing is, for every incorrect answer, the other person has to do three push-ups. How many? Three push-ups. So you will, if you lose, you will do three push-ups. If I lose, I will do? Six, no, nine. That's correct. Three times three, nine push-ups, okay? Three. So now that the rules are clear, we will start the game. What is it? This looks like a clip, paper clip. Yeah. Paper clips. Get down. Hey! Back, further. It's the siege. Right? <laughs> Once again, here we go. Know the name, know the flow. Turn me up a little more. I'm setting traps, I'm alone. You know you whack, I'm a maniac. Boy, you know I'm black to the bone. Pick a place, nigga, pick a date. I go go cool, pick a low. Thought you was good, huh? Take you out back, drag you through the woods, huh? Thought I was weak, huh? You ain't see the work I put in all week, huh? Give me that, where the city at? Nitty gritty, this ain't gonna be pretty, Jack. Not afraid, get up out the way. Y'all used to hate, look at what you made. When it all goes down, I'ma run this town. Fire in my soul, got my eyes on the ground. I can't help myself lately, can't turn myself down. I'm in love with you, baby, but I let you down. I can't die. In this town, yeah. hey. don't die in this town. Yeah, get him up. I won't die in this town. Hold up, homie, let's wait a minute. Lately, I don't even pay no visits. I can still hear the hated critics saying he ain't gonna make it, is he? Lately, I developed laser vision. Yeah, I burn through people in their cruel intentions. Crazy, you trying to play me? Boy, you wouldn't even make the scrimmage. Get your ass up and pass up your limits. Got these new rappers looking vintage. All I really do is eat spinach, count money up and hang with pretty women. I was driven, yeah, I had the vision. Then Goon came along and made a vivid. Haters living cause we really living. I'm a freight train, you a Honda Civic. Hold up, wait, let me get specific. If you pick a mission and you stay committed, stop transmitting. And you really listen, you'll see that big collision, just a big transition. When it all goes down, I'm gonna run this town. I am my soul, got my eyes on the ground. I can't help myself, baby, can't turn myself down. I'm in love with you, baby, but I let you down. I can't die in this town, I won't die in this town. Sam. Now, ready, ready? Yeah. Okay, ready? <laughs> hey. Let's go. Bet. Ready. Yo, once again, I'm back around. 
Rush it back and stop. I can see Haters from the right side. I'm so black and proud. First class tickets now. Feet all in the eye. Everybody looking down. Everybody get red when you drown, huh? Look at me up. I'm putting it down. You picking it up. Checking the models. They want us to go to college just so we can be stuck. Go to school to make a living. Or teach yourself to make a fortune. Common sense. Welcome to the apocalypse. Bitch, I'm one of the horsemen. I don't need your endorsement, I don't need reinforcement Giving you your last morning, cause I'm at my prime Yeah I'm at my I'm at my prime Whoa uh, Have I gone too far? Do you detect something different? If you look inside my head would you say something's missing? If you could give all your riches just to say the word, would you risk it? These politicians so old can't tell what? that the day where they living. Better ask Kathy Griffin. You know I like to raise stakes. We was always taught to hit the gas. We ain't even know they made breaks. We control our own. As always, Jake was standing too close to the action to get the perfect frame. Thank God we were playing with tennis ball, and he wasn't hurt too bad, and was quickly back in form for the most exciting part of this trip. Finally in the supercar section of the episode. As I've said before, supercar needs to be driven in super special places, right? And personally for me, this is one of those places. We're finally on the Black Mountain Pass in uh, south of Wales. Uh, this is one of the, come on Akshay. This is one of the top ranked driving roads in UK. Uh, top Gear have done a show here as well. All right, come on, be safe. Our plan is that, uh, We've got our cars already parked over there. You probably can't see, but we'll show you in a minute. Uh, we'll get down safely and then uh, we'll start enjoying the drive. Uh, we would spend roughly around two hours here, try to get different kind of shots, you know, drone shots, gimbal, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Looks like he's already excited. How are you excited? That's the rating, he's excited 9 out of 10. That's the excitement meter, yeah? You guys must be thinking, what are we doing on top of this mountain, right? This whole setup is so attractive. Look at the beauty of everything. Car, the view and the drive. I've been visualizing this drive since I started planning this trip a month back and now it's happening. And the best part, I get to do it with my son. Driving Lamborghini Hurricane in Black Mountain Pass with my son is a priceless memory for me. And this marks a perfect end to our Wales trip. We're finally wrapping up this episode. I just wanted to have a quick conversation with Aksh as this is his first trip and I just want to get a feedback from him. So Aksh, how did you find this trip? Nice. How nice? Uh, nine and a half. Nine and a half out of ten? Yeah. So there's something lacking. What, what is it that we could have done better? Me going on the zip line. The zip line, because they said no. Yeah. But that's... That's because you didn't meet the weight criteria, right? Your height was okay. So we can go there in two years' time, right? When you would put on some weight and we can come here again and make Wales a 10 out of 10 trip, yeah? Sounds like a deal? Yes, uh, yeah. And do you think you enjoyed this, this particular trip with me so much that you would want to go on the future trips as well? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And have you decided 
Where would you like to go next? I don't want to go somewhere. I want to go on a motorcycle. Okay, so what you're saying is, the next one we go on motorcycle, yeah? Yeah. You don't care about the place where we go? Yeah. So you've had enough of the cars? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Cool, we have a deal. Can I get a hug? Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>